Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Linish Red Knights video. Um, so, I I actually got my my units raised up now. I'm start, starting to work on my, my Stone Golem, who is also on plus three right now. Yesterday someone asked, actually asked me a question why I use the Stone Golem in my arena instead of using, like, you know, starting off the battle with Curse, um, starting off the Stone Golem instead. The thing is that the difference between the two is Curse is more of an offensive tank. Um, he, like, he does damage, like, both these two skills actually do scale with his physical damage, so, um, basically, if you have some sort of, like, damage buff or anything like that, he's gonna be doing a lot more damage, um, and, and yeah, he also has some sort of, like, damage mitigation through, through this passive skill, as well as, um, self-sustain with his, with his first skill. So, he's, he's definitely a really, really good unit, but the reason why I start out with my Stone Golem in my arena first is because I, I, um, I mostly focus on defense. Like, I think it's more important to focus on defense in, in arena fights, um, I'll just I'll just do do some random fights. Wait wait wait. My attack party's right. Yeah, this is right. All right. So, I I start off with, with like the most defensive team possible. This is basically just um. Well, actually, this isn't the most defensive team possible. I could technically start off with um without a hero, and then starting off with. Wait, can you start off without a hero? I'm not sure. I haven't tried that. But I mean, technically, you could go like Vashu as well. But Vashu is pretty pretty shitty. So, um, <laughs> you you start out start off with your hero and then you go two tanks two healers and what this does is it makes it really really hard for them to to um, to ever kill your tanks so as you can see his tank fell right before my my first tank fell and I already defeated his second tank which is his Kurtz before before anyone actually died so my Olga actually died over here because they they do quite a lot of um they do have some like you know damage to the back line um, but the, the thing is, if I start off with, with a more defensive team, it makes it so that their tanks fall first, their, their first tank, and it's usually the first tank. Like usually, um, I would say like 90% of the time, when whenever the first tank falls first, it's usually, it's usually in your favor, unless they have a comp that really just counters you. Okay, I, I got, I got owned by this, this dragon, this dragon like completely shredded my... <laughs> My, my front line because I, I I do like a I do use a really really defensive um, defensive comp like like this and then this I put all my offensive units in the end like I think I, I don't think these two these three units are really all that useful um, it would be better I think it would be more ideal if I just basically stacked all tanks for for arena but I need to use these units for for my raid comp so I basically I raise them there they are my stronger units so um, they are better than than using using random tanks that I have at only like purple plus three or something like that. Um, yeah, that the the reason why I lost that is because I think Olga fell. Like Olga died somehow. I, I have no idea how the hell Olga died. It's like it was through some some sort of uh, backline nuke. I think it was the the Black Elder that like nuked her to death basically. Um, I think Black Elder definitely counters this comp because I'm technically running three healers. And if you have any sort of healing reduction, it basically just wrecks me. Like it wrecks me super, super hard. Um, but I, I realized that like you can't you can't always win every single arena fight. Um, so I, I mostly focus on the majority. Like you know that I always mention the meta. Like the meta is basically the the, the like what's popular um, what's what everyone is running like what what ma the majority of the people are running and mo most people are running just like a hybrid of just tanks healers and and damage dealers like they don't have a lot of not a lot of people are running like you know units like the Orcus or or rail or um, or black elder like like just utility units that can just kind of uh, mess up your strategy most people just just run a very very standard comp like it's usually the same few units like it's usually Adele, Kurtz, Baphomet, um, Arin, al there's always an Arin as a healer and then a lot of people do run Olga as well like they they might not start out with Olga they might like run Olga after and then they some people start out with Succubus because she she has a really really nice crit buff um, that makes it so Arin heals a lot more <coughs> But I, I think my, my comp is really unique in the sense I, I run like, you know, I basically I'm running no DPS. Um, I'm starting out without a single damage dealer. And the majority of the time this, this actually does work very, very well. 
because like look at look at this comp this comp is one tank one healer and two dps so by the time i killed his first tank um i i've all most of my other units besides my main tank is is full hp and they they um the the other team is like almost dead like they're they're a rin and then by the time my lara has her nuke up um their second tank has already fallen so but and then at this point they don't have any more tanks like they maybe the the way they plan it maybe they didn't have um as many tanks raised i think that's probably um most most likely case they don't have enough tanks raised so they put in like two deep two damage dealing units and i'm able to um, i was able to through like you know through during the time where uh, before adele came up um kill a few of their damage dealers and basically just win the fight you know so it's 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 kind of like that. I think I think that's that's kind of how the way arena works. Um, you, you just gotta run what most like. You just gotta th gotta do a few fights and then see what most people run, and then you you basically run something that counters that. Obviously, there's a lot of things that come into play. Like there can be people that with like full six star teams, and it doesn't matter what you run, you can't beat them at all. Um, but a lot of the times, it's not it's not always about who, who has a stronger team sometimes it's about who has the who has the better plan um, five star Adil I might get wrecked really hard by this well how has he made how has he made it with a three star Adil he does have a five star Olga but I don't think I honestly don't think this is that strong I mean I think he RNG through it like Baphomet has evasion, so if you're really, really, really lucky, you can beat a lot of people that are, like, supposedly stronger than you. For my arena, I'm still running one tank, um, you know, one DPS double healer. I think double healer is already defensive enough for the arena. If you're running double tank, double healer, there's, like, no way they're, they're, uh, the front line's gonna die. Oh, shit. Adele is so strong. Like Adele is so much stronger. I think maybe I should go start going back to using my three star Adele because even a three star Adele might might even be better than a than a four star Kurtz. I've just been running Kurtz because I kind of like the I like the I like the the unit. I like how he's a tank, but also has a lot of like self sustain. He has everything a tank wants, you know. And he's he's a he's a physical type tank and. Um, I think I think like Owen scales better with physical damage because Owen has a physical buff, and my game just froze. My game has completely just fucked me. Yeah, so I, to be to be perfectly honest, uh, recently I've just been focusing on raising my units for arena. I've, I've really haven't been um, doing guild battles a lot. Like my my guild would would know that. Like I I really haven't been. Um, doing my guild battles usually like if I have if I remember all right if I if I don't forget it like if I remember I'll go and put some units in the the castle so they can help help defend um but yeah I, I still feel like there's no incentive to participate in the guild battles like there's I mean yeah it, it, you probably should like it's you should like you know if you're if you're responsible do it but I just like I, I get lazy a lot of the times and more often than not, I actually forget. Like actually, I completely forget about um, that. I have to do guild battles and stuff. So um, yeah, so I I'm going to do I'm going to do a summon, and then I think I think I'll probably be it. Um, all right, it was a, it was a werewolf. Wait, I think it's I think it's a Zelene day today on time rift oh I am 54 now so I can I can actually run the next level but I can't even beat this level because I yeah because I'm so weak like I these the the units that I, I'm allowed to run for this dungeon um, they're not really all that strong like I, I didn't raise any of these units I should probably raise the the fairy queen and probably the fairy princess they're they're pretty good defensive units that I can probably um, put on defense in, in the force and they'll they'll do pretty well. So I'll I'll put in my stone golem and yeah we'll just we'll just try this out, all right? We'll just try this out.
If I fail really badly, I'll, I'll go and do the other one. Do the one before, I mean. Actually, it's quite good. The Ice Queen's Maid is actually a pretty good unit with Freeze. Has a lot of CC potential. There's no armor break. There's no um there's no spike in my nuke. I should have probably activated Owen like about five seconds earlier. Would have done the most damage. I think the only thing that takes skill in this game is like when to activate your your transformation. Stone Golem is really good. He's a he's an excellent tank, but he only tanks physical damage. Like he's the he's the perfect counter if they're running like all physical damage, but they probably don't because they have healers and stuff which do magical damage. But if they're if they're running like mostly physical damage, he's he's still a very very good tank. All right, so I was only able to get two stars. I'm not sure if it's better to to do this this one or or just do the one before. I'm just sleeping. All right, th that's the end of the video. Um, yeah, I just wanted to wanted to show you guys like what's what's been going on in the arena and what I what I've been doing recently. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.